Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at paragraph 3.8, depreciation and the sinking fund method. So depreciation is the re reduction in value of an asset over time, due in particular to wear and tear. So assets like buildings, machinery, vehicles and computers decrease in their value as they age. There are many methods to assess the depreciation of an asset and we are going to cover one such method known as the sinking fund method. Okay, let's look at example 45. A laptop computer has been purchased at a cost of 15,000 rands. It is known that the life term of this laptop is 4 years and then it will be necessary to replace it. It is estimated that to replace the laptop will cost us 25,000 rands. Um, it's also been estimated that the laptop can then be sold secondhand for 5,000 rands. And we want to establish a sinking fund to replace the laptop in four years. Monthly deposits are to be made into the fund and the fund will earn interest at an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly. So you can see this um, situation illustrated on the timeline. The current value of the computer is 15,000 rands. The replacement cost is 25,000 rands, but we can sell the old computer um, for 5,000 rands. So in effect, we will need 20,000 rands in four years time. Okay, so to purchase the new asset, the value to be accumulated in the fund is um, the 20,000 rands. Okay, um, so now we want to calculate um, the regular savings and saving deposits that we need to make into this fund. And we will use this formula, the future value formula for a, an, an annuity. We use the future value annuity formula because we have the 20,000 rands, which is the future value, the value that we need in the end. So we have the future value. We have this um, future value, we have the interest rate, and we have K. And we would like to calculate the payments. So the payment is the 20,000 rands. That is the future value. Okay, and the 0 0.01 is just the 12% per annum compounded monthly. So the 0 0.01 is my effective monthly um, interest rate. And it's on a monthly basis for four years. So my K is 48. Okay, so 326 rand and 68 cents that we need to deposit on a monthly basis. In this example, um, we were given the estimated replacement cost and the estimated second-hand value of the asset. Often these values are not known and we need to estimate them ourselves. So uh, we will use a method called compound depreciation to um, estimate the future value of an asset. Now compound um, depreciation works exactly the same as compound interest. The only difference is that the uh, rate will now be a negative rate and not a positive rate. So let's look at the next example to illustrate that. Example 46 um, is a follow-up from um, example 45, but now you will see that um, it is expected that the asset will depreciate um, at 25% per annum effective. So we have to calculate the value of the old asset um, with using this information. And then also um, the cost of replacing the laptop will increase at 15% per annum compounded monthly. Um, so let's um, first of all find the value of the old laptop at time T48. So we want to know what is the second-hand value of our laptop in four years' time. 
So the future value, and we now use the same formula that we used for compound interest. So it's exactly the same formula. Um, the present value of my laptop is 15,000 rands. And now the difference comes in that the um, rate at which it depreciates is a negative rate. It's negative 0.25. And my um, N is 4 because it's for 4 years. And then that value of my laptop in 4 years time is 4,746 rands. Then we would like to find the value of the new laptop, the replacement value, um, and that is the original value of my laptop, 15,000 rands. And then, if you remember, it, the laptop will, the replacement costs will increase at 15% per annum compounded monthly. So this is the 15% or the monthly effective rate, um, and my n in this case is 48 because it is done with the compounding is monthly. So the replacement cost of my computer will be 27,000 rands, 230 rands. And now the value that we need to have available in our fund at the end of four years to replace our computer will be the replacement cost minus the second-hand value of my old computer, and that means that I will need 22,484 rands. So in the next slide, we will calculate um, the regular um, payments into our fund. Um, so this 22,484 is what I need to have accumulated in our, my fund. Um, and the deposits are made on a monthly basis, so that's why it's 48, 12 times 4. And I have a final answer of 344 rands and 76, 70 cents that I need to deposit into this fund on a monthly basis. In the next um, video, we will look at um, the sinking fund when we also bring into consideration the cost of maintenance.